Hi guys and welcome to your September, October, you versus them reading for the beautiful sign of Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams, and hello to my members. Let's get popping. Let's get popping. So if you're new here with me, this is a reading that we're going to do. We're going to be examining the energy between you and your partner, okay? Um, this particular reading is designed to look at the centralized or the universal energy between two parties and let you know how both sides is feeling. Um, there is a divine feminine side on the left and a divine masculine side on the right. If, in fact, you don't resonate with something, do not... Um, if, if, if you feel like don't get caught up in feminine and masculine and also look below in the description box Aries to find out what, um, your sign is. It may be feminine or masculine energy. None of that means anything. So don't get caught up in that. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going in with the spell casters Oracle, and then we're going to get some confirming or clarifying em, um, energy with the empathic Oracle. First card out is love, Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Second card is new beginnings. Awesome. All right. And then we have healing. Fantastic. Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Well, obviously there is love between you and your person. There is beginnings, new beginnings that wants to come through and be realized here. And there are there is obviously healing that needs to take place. We are going to find out how both sides are feeling about this. Um, everything that you need from me is below, guys. When you guys watch the videos, if you're interested in hooking up or connecting with me as far as booking a reading, that information is in the description box. You do not have to send an email unless you have a question about scheduling. Okay. Clarify love for, okay, love. And these are all messed up. I don't know what I've been doing. Hold on, guys. So, all right. So, I got the two. So, love is being clarified by autumn. Okay. I don't know what two plus one equals to you. That is three. Okay. I don't know what that means. New beginnings is being clarified by open hearts. And I'm going to do a quick shuffle really quick. Aries for this. Okay. Clarify healing for me. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe, Al. What's good, fam bams? Hello to my members. If I did not say that, I am on a roll. And do one more since they were all messed up. So, yeah, there is someone here that really wants a connection. Summer. I'm sorry, that's Gates. What is wrong with me? All right, so Autumn, the card of 21, clarifying love. All right, so the harvest is mine. May all the seeds I plant come from a knowing of energetic sustenance. Be careful of getting caught up so much in sensing of the weeds. Be careful of getting caught up so much in sensing of the weeds that you ignore real plantings. Use your powers of discernment to cut through the weeds and focus on the energetic truth of the situation. What is your body or your discernment telling you about love in this particular situation? I think that that is very powerful. So somebody is definitely getting caught up in other things other than focusing on the love between you two. New beginnings is being clarified by open heart. Um, that is, that has a number, a numerology at the bottom, a number of 35, five and three is eight. Are those who, oh, sorry, there are those who create and those who destroy. But the needs to exist, but needs the other to exist. But those who feel the wisdom of trust need only their hearts, their open hearts to exist. In this new beginnings, guys, it's being clarified by open heart. In this situation, there are attachments or obligations that are hand in hand with this love given or being received. Again, I will ask. 
in this situation, are there attachments or obligations that are hand in hand with the love that is being given or received? Okay. And then healing is being clarified by gates, which is the card of 25. Today, I choose to choose. In this, I will begin to learn the dynamic of energetic context and the presence of growth and growth and choice. Am I freezing in an activity because I feel there is no clear direction of where to go or what to do? Know this, there is no wrong choice. There are only opportunities waiting to be experienced. Each choice you bring closer to your most authentic expression of who you are. Obviously, there is a situation between you guys that has went down Aries that you feel like um, you have no clear. It could be you or the other person. So universal energy could speak to both of you. One or both of you have been caught up in things that have been going wrong. It has blocked the love because there have been seeds that have been planted um, and you're getting caught up in a certain way in which you wanted those things to grow instead of focusing on the fact that there was some growth. There are some things just like the metaphoric um, information when you plant, you don't go out if you see some weeds and focus on the fact that the other part of the garden hasn't grown. But the energy here, one or both of you is definitely doing that, which has blocked the love flow. Um, the new beginnings is being clarified by that open heart card, which I said, and I believe that there are very much so stipulations. The love that's being given and received um, is, let me go back to that. That was a very powerful and open heart, the card of 35. The love that is going back and forth. Yes. is the In this situation, are there attachments or obligations that are hand in hand with the love that's being given and received? And I do believe that that is a huge problem, Okay. And that is what I'm feeling here. So there has been an inability to open one's heart based upon the love being blocked. And then the, the gates um, clarifying healing. Let's go ahead and find out how Divine Feminine is feeling. First card out is the Nine of Wands. So they definitely feel beat, battered, and bruised here. Show me spirit. I do see Six of Wands. And... Show me spirit for divine feminine. I do see that there has been the world is here. So that cycles top of the deck is definitely the world. I'm sorry, the king of swords. King of swords is here indicating that um, divine feminine has sort of pulled her energy back. His or her energy back. I feel like a lot of this Aries has a lot to do with the cycles that has went on because we do have new beginnings in the main energy. The healing is blocked because there is a, an energy of being beat, battered, and bruised. Yet, there is a strong energy, very much fiery energy over here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Pretty much feeling like there can still be success. There's they, you, that the, the, success, the success could still be claimed. There has been so much fighting and stopping and starting that has went on. I feel like this is alpha male and alpha female. Two strong personalities coming together. The world is here indicating that those cycles need to come to an end. And there seems to be very much so a penalty that is given. A penalty because um, there is holding back vindictiveness and there has not been great communication someone is getting caught up in how things have been said to them let's find out for divine masculine here we do have the lovers so they're coming in divine feminine saying that this is a definitely a strong spiritual connection strength and the page of cups so, interesting. Top of the deck is the Empress. Well, they love you, Divine Feminines. They love you. They do want a new beginning. So, when I'm looking at their energy, they're trying to exhibit strength. They are in the Page of Cups, so you should be receiving some type of apology. 
Um, and they're acknowledging the spiritual connection between you two. They're trying to definitely realize um, and reimagine how this relationship can go. I feel like you probably, Divine Feminines, feel like you've put more work in here. You're trying to be a little bit more cutting. There's been some situations between you two where you, looking at this King of Swords, you finally feel like you have to step into a newfound clarity to stick up for yourself like you've never done before. Um, they're not coming in in any of this energy at all. They're actually embracing the love, embracing the healing, and embracing the new beginnings. They realize with their energy coming up as strength that things have been difficult. But there's a sexuality here too. There's a sex component. Um, you guys have beautiful intimacy here between you two. You are their empress, okay, or emperor, whichever side um, you choose to um, identify with here. But when we have the empress and the lovers, that's good. this good Venusian energy. I do see fire in their energy as well, but they are exhibiting strength. They're deciding to open their heart and not allow these things to put to, to bring them down. Um, you will be with the Page of Cups hearing something. They, they want to offer you something. It's not necessarily a tangible offer um, for you earth signs. Um, this is going to be something in which you have to connect with them. I'm not going to say that the love between you guys won't necessarily produce a tangible relationship or give you what you need. What I am saying is that this person is focusing on using their words in order to bridge the gap between you guys with this page of cups. They want to come in and express themselves emotionally to you rather than there is a, a action that you're expecting. Okay, there is an action that you are expecting. I mean, you're almost at the Ten of Wands. You are experiencing an extreme amount of anxiety um, about this situation and you're conflicted on the divine um, feminine side because, you know, you recognize that there are cycles, but yet you have done so much fighting. You're the wounded warrior here. You are just ready to put this to rest. But the world is here indicating that, again, there are going to be cycles. So I think that you are a little bit more prone to at least hear divine masculine out and allow these um, new beginnings to take place. You're not very nice right now, though. Um, and so you are very cutting, very precise, um, talking with a lot of clarity. You don't want smoke blown up your ass. You just want to get straight to the point. As with the divine masculine for a change is coming through and they're just like, listen, you know, you are my one. You are my empress. Um, empress is also pregnant. If you guys resonate with this and there is the birth of a new child or an upcoming birth, congratulations. I am looking at the Empress and looking at the Page of Cups more so in the standpoint of them desiring a brand new beginning. Um, and again, there is a strong sexual chemistry here. They love you. I definitely love the Empress's energy. Your tarot card for your Aries energy is the Emperor. I do not think that that is a coincidence, although the Emperor is not right here right now. So what I am saying to you, um, I believe that, you know, the divine um, feminine side, you know, they have been through a lot, but they still feel like they have a little bit more stamina left. They're not completely giving up on this. The divine masculine is a little bit more in touch with their emotions right now. They have seemed to sweep the past behind them and they love you. They're focusing on the love between you guys right now. They would like a new beginning. Okay, I'm going to show you that again. And they would like to heal this situation. That is what I see here, okay? So um, I really do feel like they are trying to open their heart to you. And I feel like Divine Feminines, if you allow this to take place, you won't be sorry. But those, you have definitely good energy right here with the world. 
Um, I do like to see that um, that divine, um, I'm sorry, the major arcana and the energy for you. So I know that this is going to be something that's going to turn around soon. Guys, please keep in mind that there is going to that, that you know, Aries, um, Mars is still retro. Don't make any sudden moves and don't make any decisions right this minute. Give yourself time to get through this. Continue to keep your distance if you need to and allow that love to grow. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I certainly appreciate you stopping by. Hope the message resonated. I will see you guys here next week when we do it again. And I bring you the What Aren't They Telling You 3-in-1 readings for the month. Bye, Aries.